Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, episode 62 of Survival of the Fitted, your favorite podcast in the history of humanity. You're chilling here with your favorite co-host in the history of humanity, Joe Williams. Mm-hmm. And we got none other than the NPR show today. How are you doing today, my guy? I'm good, man. This is a better week than last week. I'm excited to talk to you today. Obviously, we're going to run through the little sports stuff real quick, but then we got to talk about Met Gala. And I know y'all have heard everyone's Met Gala opinions, but wouldn't you rather hear Met Gala opinions from two people that aren't experts on Met Gala? There we go. Talk to So, them. yeah. Um, first thing I want to talk about, Joe, is um, we like athletes that dress cool. That's kind of our lives. Um, mm-hmm. Best dress league in the world alert, the NWSL which is like North America's premier women's soccer league. Mm -hmm. These women I've been like following on like GQ GQ sports and whatnot. Shout out to Lily Nabbit, our former intern who's on Angel City FC, still waiting on her first GQ sports post. But anyway, they've been posting these ladies walking into the games. And I'm not going to lie to you, WNBA fashion has taken like a pretty massive dip. The past couple of years, it's just like, you know, a lot of like trying too hard, kind of mm-hmm. awkward looks. But these soccer girls are eating it up. And it's like not even just like the stars. It's like not just like the superstar players. It's like mm-hmm. some of these players like I've never heard of. I'm like, damn, she fly as hell. And like the teams are like buying into it. Like the tunnels are super fire. There's like videos and photos. And it's crazy. I'm like, damn, the NBA and WNBA still doesn't have like 30 tricks out tunnels in every arena, but the NWSL does. So I just want to give a little shout, shout out to, to, the NWSL, to, the, to the NWSL teams for capturing this fire content and like these ladies for just putting on fire ass outfits. Like they're trying to put on cool outfits, but they don't look like they're trying to put on cool outfits, which is kind of the key to having a cool outfit, right, Joe? That is the key to having a cool outfit. That is yeah. 100%. We've discussed that before. So my whole thing is like, if you try to be cool, then you're not cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I want to, some names come to mind and when I think about that, but mm-hmm. being effortless and being yourself is probably the coolest thing you can do. So if you're not cool naturally, then you, it's just like one of those things, bro. I'm just starting yeah. to think about that right now. Like if you're not cool naturally, you kind of like, you can't like study to be cool. I sound like such an idiot saying what's cool and what's not cool. I'm not like the police on that. You, but, Joe, you are cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Like, I've been told Joe, that I you're, am, but... you're very true to you. Like you don't like adjust yourself for like anyone that you're around. You're just you. And that's I appreciate cool. That, man. Um, oh. but yeah, shout out these ladies, shout out the league. Basketball's got to catch up. Uh, mm-hmm. speaking of basketball, before we talk about Met Gala, sad day for league fits, right? Really sad. You have day. no idea how much I was fighting demons that night man when the mm-hmm. minnesota Timberwolves got eliminated in the fashion that they did man i don't want to talk too much about hoops because i in know the fashion we're not... that in the fashion in the fashion that they did oh there we go ah, there we ah, go ah, buzzword <laughs> man 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 that was that was rough that was rough to watch i'm not gonna lie but yeah. the main important part of it was like we no longer get vando fits we no longer mm-hmm. get d low fits we no longer get even Aunt nasri Anthony Edwards and like yeah. his whole aesthetic like that he brings to the game is no longer active in the season. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my gosh, we don't get the like headlines in the press conferences. Now we're just going to get boring answers from, you know, or, you know what I mean, the Milwaukee. But I'm like, yeah, Man, this is this is unfortunate. So to provide a little context, um, a few episodes ago, me and Joe took the playoff bracket and we picked who we'd want to advance just based on having more league fits content. And our finals ended up being Timberwolves versus Nets. We were like, that would be like the dream league fits mm-hmm. NBA finals. And both teams lost in the first round. It was super ironic. Yeah. Not the saddest day in league fits history. Cause that was obviously Shea and the Shea, Kelly Oubre, Frank mm-hmm. Jackson, super team falling apart um, before it could even start. But th- it was a pretty sad day in league fits history, especially considering you're even an actual Timberwolves fan. That was the worst part. I mean, yeah. we can get into that another time. This isn't the time to talk and then about I was basketball. Like, and then I was like, I was ready for Jaron Jackson to carry. And he did, oh, like, that's another, the, yeah. he did like the Versace fit after like such a strong start to the playoffs. I'm like, ah, mm-hmm. like you are the Grizzlies, like only league fits guy. Like you have to mm-hmm. go ham this series. Um, yeah. 
You want to talk about Met so, Gala d- now? No, oh, no, I actually want to say gonna... one more thing about yeah, of course. the playoffs. Yeah. I don't want to say it, but I kind of want to say it. I'm not a big, like, superstitious guy. Do you think we jinx them in a way? Because it's like, what is the odds that we're going to do a whole bracket and, like, we're going to have, like, this finals ideal matchup, like, dream, you know what I mean, type thing? Yeah. And ironically, both of those teams have won two games in the playoffs combined and get, the, like, knocked out the first uh, round. I feel like we kind of jinxed them we, in a way. We might have. I mean, like, the Nets were the Nets. The Nets were, like, a finals favorite. I, I don't think anyone thought they were going to get swept. And the Timberwolves are blowing like twenty point leads. Maybe we did. I'm. S- that's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, because w- if you look at like the fashion mm-hmm. of like how it happened, I'm like, it kind of feels like somebody put a curse on both of these teams, and I think it might have been yeah. us. I do. I do have a stylist story about NBA playoff superstition, though. Okay, talk to us. Um. So obviously, you know, I style Thanasis on the Bucks. And so I went up uh, the day before game one of the finals, and we basically got all his outfits down for the first two rounds, right? Mm-hmm. And so game one, he wears his outfit, looks cool, smooth, you know, whatever. Game two, wears his outfit, which was like a simple outfit, smooth, you get it. And they lose game two to Chicago. And okay. he thought... <laughs> He thought they're superstitious, so he started wearing Nike sweatsuits to every game, and they haven't oh. lost since. I was like, hey, oh, bro, wow. why haven't you been wearing your outfits? And he was like, locking in. And it was a, it's a superstitious thing. How do you feel? Uh, from like I was a like, I was like, ah. but look good, play good. Anyway, the whole point of saying that was just to be like superstitions. I feel like it's in there. I'm usually not a superstitious person, but there's a lot of yeah, superstitious energy flying around right now. Is the Nasus like a look? He's a, does he subscribe to that theory of like look good, uh, play good type thing? I, I guess not because they haven't lost a single game since he started wearing. Yeah, because I feel like no matter what he said, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I don't really care what he said in the in the regular season when it came uh, down to it in the playoffs. He shifted and yeah, he was up like, nah, the, it's game yeah. time, and I respect you it. Expose but yeah, yourself, dude. There's there's superstitious <laughs> oh energy in the air, and I I, I respect it. Um, yeah. Let's talk about Met Gala. Um, only two basketball players this year, Dwayne Wade, who's retired, and then Russell Westbrook. Obviously, there's usually not a bunch of basketball guys. We were kind of spoiled last September during the COVID Met Gala just because it was basketball offseason. Mm-hmm. Um, so Russ was the only active guy to go. And his look was actually one of the first ones that I saw because our good friend of the pod, Hoppa Blonde, Richard, texted me the pic. And, and my first reaction, what was your first reaction when you saw it? Uh, I first noticed the kilt, and I yeah. honestly thought that people were gonna like take this apart like they did last year. Yep. But it wasn't even what people were talking about. People were just talking about how it was just genuinely like subpar, which I agree with. Yeah. Well, when I first saw it, because like, uh, like Met Gala is a women's event in the sense that like all the memorable outfits from the Met Gala every year, like ninety percent of them are women because most of the dudes wear like a suit and tie. Like I literally posted a meme on like my mm-hmm. Instagram close friends earlier in the day yesterday, which was Monday. And it was like the Spider-Man meme, but it was just a bunch of like tuxes and bow ties. And it was like men at the Met Gala each year. Mm -hmm. So when I first saw Russ, I was like, okay, like, fuck it. He doing something different. I liked it. But then, and you know, this is a Russ positive. This is a kilt positive podcast. 100%. I saw like, this was the year of like the fashion boys took a major W this year at the Met Mm -hmm. Gala. Like men were really eating up the red carpet. I agree. I agree. I'm like, I'm combing through the looks right now. I was so impressed. I want to start with someone that I know you and I both admire. Um, mm. Travis Barker. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Dude, eating it's... up Kourtney Kardashian on the red carpet is no easy feat. And low key, he's done it like three or four carpets in a row. Like he's he... been continuously eating her up. Yeah, he had this like pink and like on a kind of top or whatever. And I think he like kind of stuck with that for like a few weeks on end. But yeah, it was yeah, the kind of top. Left. Where was yeah. I forget what there was. But last night he wore. Let me let me find it real quick. Do do do. They were like one of the first ones. He was right. wearing Tom Brown. Um, he was was it Tom, Tom Brown? Brown? Yeah, type but he thing. he ate he ate her up, and he's been doing. I was like, damn! Shout out for the fashion boys. Also, shout out small stylists because Travis Barker's stylist is like no blue check. Like you know, maybe like five k. Sounds then, familiar. You know, yeah <laughs> thanks buddy. shout out shout out shout out 
Thanks, bro. Yeah. Um, but he got like, you know, like the kind of like regular dude, quote unquote, that styles him. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, shout out the little people. He's been fucking eating up. Um, other people that ate up, like like let's shout out the men. Do you see Joe Jonas? Uh nah. I'm um, nah. Yeah, I'm gonna touch. DM I'm gonna DM you the post right now. And for everyone that's listening to this, you're just gonna have to Google these people as you're listening. Joe Jonas. Which is like, honestly, it's second. honestly it's worth the Google, to be honest. It's worth, it's the, worth Google. the Google. You saw what I just sent you though, Joe? No, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna click on it right now. This is like yeah. a this is like a follow along type interactive podcast where we're all yeah. interactively listening and on our yeah. phones. And we're all, if you're we're in the car all listening around, to this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're all sitting around the round table, like yeah. take your time at the stop signs. You know what I mean? Like yeah. good long stops. But what do you think? Like Joe Jonas, eight. Uh I'm not a nah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Really? You don't like that? I'm so for really I'll that. describe it. So for the people that can't see, he's wearing like this white suit. It's like uh the lapels that don't cross over. I don't know the technical term for that ironically mm-hmm. i just styled a suit for the first time i don't know shit about suits um you so did a good job the by the way first i first. didn't get to text you that but you did a good job thank you there was a, many you. i didn't really know what i was doing but it, it was really fun reading all the tweets. Yeah. i spent like the entire night just looking up um just if anyone saw i guess there's no context here if anyone saw there was a football player i styled for the nfl draft and he wore like a gray and white suit like two-faced inspired suit anyway Joe Jonas, he's wearing like this white suit, white suit jacket, black pants, and he has like this like lace cape, kind of like a superhero. Mm-hmm. I fuck with it, Joe. I fuck with it. I just I'm not a fan of the fact that like I could see like inconsistencies and in, like oh I like his nails. Okay, but as I'm zooming in on this, I can see like inconsistencies in like the weight of his pieces. So he has like this like the bottom thing that looks extremely like frail and like yeah. you know what I mean blowing in the air type stuff but his top is quite literally still like a suit blazer type yeah, you can vibe. tell the jack you can tell the jacket's heavy yeah you can tell the jacket's way heavier than the bottom i would be super interested on seeing how this feels like if you're actually wearing this this mm. might feel like incredibly kind of uncomfortable dude look at like you like in your big cape. fashion bag you're like look at the i'm just, an, I'm just in the weight of the pieces like yeah, who I'm are just, you joe we wear pieces wow. not clothes wow i don't cut clothes like hot pieces i don't cut clothes um, like hot pieces do you know why Emma oh, yeah, Chamberlain's man. famous? Like, what is she famous for? No, I don't know at all. I don't know either. She ate. I know we're talking about menswear, but Emma Chamberlain ate. Yeah, there's tons of, like, good looks. One that I was a um, big fan of, that I know everybody else is also probably a big fan of on this podcast, is, like, Cuddy. I liked how Cuddy... Oh, like, Cuddy I never didn't... I, see, I didn't like Cuddy. And you know I, how much I love Kid Cuddy, but I thought Cuddy and Russ were the two worst dressed people at Met Gala really? last night. Really? I just yeah. feel like I love when I, I could just I'm trying to like put myself in the shoes and I see like Kid Cudi walking in and like me not missing him when he walks in because he has just like just yeah. bright blue ensemble going on in a room Bro, full of he people looks who like, are wearing like white and black and gold. He and, looks like Clipper Daryl. <laughs> oh, you know who he looks like? Like Club Penguin or something. Kyle he looks, looks like, like a, he looks like a crip vampire. <laughs> he looks like a like a Long Beach like crip walking vampire. Yeah. I hear you on it that. was a little too much, and I liked his because last year's Met Gala, he went super casual. He did like literally like a crew neck sweater tucked into a kilt, and it actually looked kind of hard. I wasn't a huge fan of this one. Um, let's talk about Skeet. Let's talk about. I don't want to lose. Skeet wore his lo- Dior suit. Oh, okay, okay. Was, was that a cool. Dior suit? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a Dior that suit. was too little. It was a basic for me, bro. I feel like Pete Davidson's yeah. in the spotlight. He's got. He's bringing Kim Kardashian. Who didn't she wear like Monroe? She was literally Marilyn wore Monroe? Marilyn Monroe's dress, and she people lost were rumoring that she'd wear it. wear it. That's what I'm saying. People were like, "Oh, is she gonna wear it? Is she not gonna wear it?" She literally pulled up with it, insane. Yeah. And then bro pulled up with like the most. You know what I mean? Like Spider Man meme. Yeah. Boom. Okay, it was unfortunate Joe. to see that. But it was it was because he had to like compliment her like he couldn't like he had to look like it like you know she was the star okay like if he wore like some crazy shit like you know they wouldn't have looked right together like he had to go like black tie with that outfit especially because like Marilyn Monroe was like fucking the president so he had to like kind of dress presidential you know what I mean I kind of wish I was alive back then to just witness that whole moment there's so many moments I wish I would be yeah. alive to witness facts I hear that. Okay, you know what? Let's be efficient with this. Go to the Up Next Designer Instagram page. Which I am on, on your phone. Already. Okay. Yeah. Let's go through the Instagram story together. 
and we'll stop I'm, when yeah. there's lit stuff. You ready? Let's start from the beginning. I don't know who that is. Let's go through the men's looks. Um, boring. Don't know who that is. Boring. You want to talk about boring. Bad Bunny? We can talk about Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. One of the biggest artists in the world. Sick. Sick. He looked amazing. You think he looked amazing? I think he yes. looks like something off of like Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. I'm walking so, through and I see him propped up in the corner. I'm scared. But you, you are fake as hell because a year ago awesome. we were comp- we were complimenting like Fear of God for like all the shape in their new collection and this Burberry you jacket, dare. whatever he's wearing, has like a ton of shape. Like the really rounded, wide, big shoulders and whatnot. Oh. Like there's a ton of shape. It's exactly what you said you liked a week ago, and now someone's I, wearing it and you hate it. No, 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 no. And I can't I'm let you violate you the fuck me right out, now. But no, you know sir. No, I'm sir. right. No, you're you not. No, I'm right. You are <laughs> the reason a why. Ass. No, the reason why me and so many other people like Jerry, as far as like when it comes to shape, is because he does shape that complements like your body perfectly perfectly there's no re- there's no need to go to a tailor if you buy a piece from fear of god in context of this bad okay. bunny bro no bro he looks like a like a something i'd see in like a toy box and like toys are he just looks like a like a russian doll or something like the shoulders being flared oh, out gosh. throws me off i like how the fact that the top the top is bigger than the bottom that's cool like it ha- kind of has like this like tapered look but like yeah there's so many things that i don't like about this outfit including I, uh, the hair i don't know i thought it was kind of cool i will say though so the theme was like america like a gilded age mm-hmm. have like famous people never been to a themed party before because either everyone was on theme <laughs> nope. but i think it's more likely that just everyone was off theme i don't think people even pay attention to the theme i don't know i've never been to mega Hall, yeah but... um okay more men's wear. Nigel Houston, like the skateboarder. Oh my, love you it. You saw his blue suit. And he, what's the thing you, that goes under the suit jacket? Like the vest thing? There's like a real name for that. Yeah, I hear you. Who the fuck cares? So he wore, <laughs> the, he wore that little vest thing underneath the jacket and it's all monochromatic. He has like some cool jewelry. Mm-hmm. Um, and he looks sick. He looks so cool. Yeah, Nigel Houston he is mi- just an embodiment of cool, in my opinion. Yeah, like he might have been the best dressed dude there, even though it's heavy kind of like statement. simple. Yeah. Heavy statement, like he, because it was like simple, but still like in your face and bold. I thought he ate. I think his um, tattoos carried this too, which is another part of an outfit and style yeah, in general. But that's like no, that's like knowing yourself though. Like he purposely like left his chest mm-hmm. bare because he knows he has tattoos. You know what I mean? I hear you. Tattoos and hair are a part of your outfit. Um, 100%. Kylie, Kylie Jenner, what in the hell? The Kardashians all Kardashians and Jenners didn't look good except for Kim. Really? But she wore she wore the off white dress with like the backwards baseball cap. Really? We're, 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 I'm not seeing this. That's interesting. If it's right after Nyjah Houston on the on oh the really designer okay. story. Yeah. Backwards baseball cap. That sounds what? Yeah, with like a wedding this. veil. Veil. I think that's what it's called. This is podcast. Uh, it's just me admitting I don't know what shit is called. <laughs> is that the name of this yeah. podcast episode? Yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Oh my god, it's terrible. Yeah, not great. Oh wow. Um, I'm telling you, the men ate this year. Okay, do you know who Evan Mock is? Nah. I don't know who that is, but he kind of ate too. <laughs> really? You see, like his like neck flare thing. Yeah, I see. Oh uh, yeah, I like his hair too. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe it, but guys, look up Evan Mock. M O C K. Man. We're getting Fire. exposed. This 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 whole like clothes pieces is like kicking our butts this far, guys. Yeah, just getting exposed. But the girls, the ladies, did not eat this year. Like there was like a few cool ladies. Like Kim was cool, but like Sydney Sweeney was kind of bland. I thought Billie Eilish was bland. You know Blake what Lively it was? was? Cool. You know what, what it was? No Zendaya. Was it? You know Zendaya would have uh, gone. Oh yeah, crazy on that. We, we would have gotten that Somebody- big roach moment. Yeah, one hundred percent. Somebody who? How do you feel about? We could bring this back to basketball how do you feel about i don't think we talked about Dwayne wade yet the only other basketball player there oh yeah with he the white cool. with the open cool. also cool. has tattoos was, so it was kind of like it was kind of like predictable though like oh the basketball player showed up with like his abs and pecs out like you know all white yeah. suit like kind of predictable i was shout out like, daniel house for all the wrong reasons <laughs> yeah shout out daniel house <laughs> for all the wrong yeah, reasons so it was just like it was just like a tailored daniel house it was cool it's whatever Dwayne wade's a dad it's cool um basically the whole point of all of this though is just to say like shout out the shout out the men 
shout out the fashion boys. Mm -hmm. Like this was the first Met Gala where the, the fellows won. And this is a big moment for us. And I'm proud of men everywhere. It is a big moment for us. Maybe if we needed, yeah. uh, probably needed to invite some, was it NWSL players over to the Met Gala if we wanted to see some good women fits, but got to other than nah, that, the woman, the women will bounce back. The women will bounce back. It's, it's their world, but yeah, the fellas went hard yesterday. All right, there we go. City boys up a hundred. City boys up a hundred. Shout out to the boys. Met Gala is for the boys. What is it like the douchey Southern kids say? Saturdays are for the boys. Saturdays Met Gala for the boys. Is for, Met Gala is for the boys. Full send. I don't. Full send. That has no context to this. Shout out Malika Andrews too. We need to invite Malika Andrews over to the Met Gala. Low is key. Malika Andrews the new Chrome Hearts? No, yeah, she's like the new everything. Is hashtag Horny Joe like a thing? Is that is this my is that my nickname? <laughs> is that my nickname? Yeah, I guess this episode? we don't have one. There we go. Horny Joe. Locked and loaded. <laughs> love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Love to hear it also. Uh, all right, man. Shout out Mick Gala. Shout out you. We'll talk to you guys on Friday. And this time we'll have a guest, I promise. <laughs> oh yeah, today's not Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah I'm Post tripping. Squad, all right, see you guys on later, man. Go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcast. Tell them that Intern Joe sent you. Click the follow button. Go follow Survival of the Fitted.